What's going on guys? I am Stock Sniper Mike and I'm back again with another Weekly Watchers video. For those of you guys that don't know what the Weekly Watchers is, it's a watch list that the snipers create every single Sunday afternoon with a list of potential stocks for the upcoming week. Now we're not telling you to go out and just buy all these stocks that we bring up, but we do want you to pay attention to key resistance and support spots. And if they could hold support, break past resistance, we're most likely going to be looking to snipe these in the upcoming week. For those of you guys that don't know where to find it, you can find it on our website at www.thestocksnipers.com or you can check us out in our app store or Google Play under Stock Snipers. And that's actually where I'm going to take you guys today, right into the app. So when you dive into the app here, you're going to get pulled up to the all page. The all page has everything that we have to offer, but today we're going to jump into the watch list tab. And when you click on that watch list tab, you'll see all the watches we have. As a sniper, we offer two watches a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, as well as this bonus weekly watchers for the weekend. And that's the one we're going to click on. So when we click on the weekly watchers, you're going to get a list of stocks that we're watching to snipe for the upcoming week. Now we do love OTC stocks, that's our bread and butter as a stock snipers, but we have been looking at the crazy list of movement, especially with everything going on with the overall market coming down nicely. It does seem like there are going to be some good plays happening in the listed stocks as well. So we do have those on the list. But we're going to start off with the bread and butter and the OTC stocks here. So let's dive in. The first one that we're going to dive into is IGEX. And why we picked this first is because we're actually in it over the weekend. This is a sub penny stock that we actually made money the last time it came around and created this first green day. Now we're coming right back for it again. We're playing it again on a first green day at the end of Friday. We got in at 0 .0071 and we're looking for that curl all the way back up to a penny. After five red days, we always say a green day is soon to come and that happened on Friday. So we'll be looking for the follow up green day and a bag to start money Monday. Bam. And we got it guys. We actually were able to lock in just about $500 plus on IGEX. So big shout out to the sub penny there for making us a bag to start the week on money Monday. And this next OTC penny stock is one that we've made money off of as well in the past and it's coming back down to a support level that we like, the long term support of 47 cents. We're looking for it to drop back down to that area to start next week. If it's able to drop down there and curl back around, we're going to be looking to take advantage of IQST here. This next one is an OTC Bitcoin related stock. There are Bitcoin stocks that you can take advantage of when Bitcoin gets hot or when one of these stocks get hot. This one, Humble, has literally dropped from the dollars all the way down now to 10 cents. 10 cent is another long term support that we're going to be looking for this thing to bounce off of. So to start the week, we're looking for a drop, but then we're looking for that first green day to follow up there in Humble. This next OTC penny stock was one of our favorites because we actually got to make over $1,000 with our man Jack Kellogg when he came and visited us in Fort Lauderdale off this really nice panic dip buy. We're looking forward to have that panic dip buy and possible first green day again in OTC penny stock Eyeless. 12 cents is a nice spot, but if it dropped below 12 cents, the last time we sniped it with Jack was down at 10 cents, and we would love to see it come down there again. If that happens, we'll be looking to take advantage of the first green day. The next three are actually all former runners. So, see, so stocks we've actually seen run in the past and are coming back for more possibly. They are all been leveled out, not really done much recently, but we do think they have the potential to run if they're able to create a first green day. The first one we're going to talk about is OTC Bitcoin related stock AABB. We actually grabbed this last time it spiked past 10 cents and it went all the way to 12 cents. It was a very nice snipe right from the watch list and now we're looking to do that again. This next one, OTC penny stock ENZC has not had action in a long, long time. It's coming down to long term support but it still has a couple red days in it we feel like. We're not telling you to catch a falling knife, it's very hard to do to grab the 52 week lows. But to find the first green day when they continue to fall, especially after 12 downward days like this one, we'll be looking to eventually take that first green day play in ENZ. And the last but definitely not least OTC penny stock is AITX. They got some EV robotic stuff in their corporate office. Interesting company, but they're all the way down to 0 0.014. So almost a half of a, less than half of a penny here. We're looking at this one four spot to hold because last time in the past, it jumped off a of 1.4, was able to get a nice spike. So if it's able to hold this 1.4, we're going to be looking for that first green day in the upcoming week here in AITX. And now let's jump into listed land, the fun, crazy movement stuff. 
This one is a really crazy movie. The first one we're going to talk about, it's a clear pump and dump. All you guys know about this went from $11 all the way to $38 and now coming all the way back down to $4. So crazy run that it had, 10 green days straight up, 12 red days or downward days straight down. IMTE is a roller coaster ride, but if it continues to hold $4 next week, we're going to be looking for that short squeeze first green day that is yet to happen in this pump and dump play. Right, and the next one is an EV related stock. We love this one because we actually were able to go three for three on it in March, and it hasn't really cooled off since that moment, but it's cooling off a lot. It's actually on five straight red days, creating kind of a curl of a first green day on Friday, but we're looking for more of a downtrend. If this thing continues the downtrend with the overall market, possibly to $1. That would be ideal. We're gonna be looking for this possible first green day and every first green day that we've played so far in March, like we were saying, three for three has followed up with a second. So if we do see it in this one, we're gonna be looking for that second green day there in MULN. And then the next group of stocks are all larger listed stocks. And the larger listed stocks are literally falling. A lot of them that I brought up on this list are making new 52 week lows, which a lot of them mean they look like they're due for a big bounce. Now, we're not exactly sure when the bounce is going to happen, so we're not trying to tell you to go buy all these stocks right away or to catch a falling knife. You want to be very patient, especially about the ones that are falling and falling and falling, but when the turnaround does happen, it's going to be very, very nice. We don't know if it's going to happen this week, but we will have them on high watch if we do start to see the volume turn around and the momentum start to shift in all of these listed stocks. The first one is the gambling related stock making new 52 week lows last week in DraftKings. We'll be looking for it to continue to hold 1370s and possibly turn back around. But like we said, don't catch that falling knife. The next one is in Netflix and all you guys know about this one, it dropped all the way from $350 back down to $220 last week. So crazy, crazy. 40% drop pretty much in the overall stock. If you're a long-term investor, you probably want to jump out of plane. But as us as a sniper, we're ready to take advantage of it if it drops one or two more days. $200 is a spot it hasn't been to since 2018. First, we're ever starting to come out with videos, Netflix. They came out with their videos in 2018. Now all of us enjoy watching the videos, Stranger Things, all that has come out. We are now back to those levels before they even had videos in the overall stock. So pretty crazy ride that we got there in Netflix. But if we go back to $200, we're going to be looking for a bounce there. This next one, AMD, a lot of you guys know about it because it got a very nice run on the way up. But now it's coming down. $100 was a spot that a lot of people were looking forward to bounce off of. And it continued to fall because the overall market is just dragging it down. It is now coming all the way back down to the 80s. 85 is long-term support and that's what we want to see it hold next week so we'll be watching that for that hold the next one is another bitcoin related stock like we were saying there are bitcoin related stocks all over the place in the market you can take advantage of it when they do get hot and this one is definitely one that when it does get hot you will get a nice pop out of it but it's been getting dragged down since it ipo'd back about a year ago this is coinbase c-o-i-n making new 52 week lows last week we're going to be looking for that bounce and reversal just like it was in DraftKings and all these other 52 week lows. All right, this next one is another larger listed stock that a lot of people have been long term and now they're underwater after how high it has gone and dropped from the 280s coming all the way now below 200 in about a month. So losing almost 40% in a month there. NVDA does look like it's due for a first green day. We are looking for it to come down to the long term support at 190 and then we'll see if it can hold that and possibly bounce from there. The next one is the cannabis listed stock that all of us were excited for last week for 420, but nothing really happened. It actually continued to downtrend for about two weeks now. So we have a two week downtrend in Tilray, 420 passes. New Jersey actually is officially selling cannabis now, so we'll start seeing tax revenue coming in for New Jersey. Maybe we can get a spike here eventually in Tilray this next week. It dropped all the way from $9 coming to $5.25 to close the week last week. And $5 is the long-term support. We're going to look for that first Green Day pop 
in Tilray next week. And this last one is the only first red day option we're looking for, the only pretty much short that we're looking for. This is the airline company Delta. A lot of people have seen the crazy run that it had the past eight days. Eight straight green days in anticipation of the mask mandate coming off. Now that the masks are off, it seems like airlines are still in trouble. I think that Delta is going to come right back down, at least back to the $40 range. So we're looking, we'll be looking for that first red day short option put on Delta there. All right, guys, and that is our weekly watchers list. A little more stocks on there than usual, but that's because we're looking at OTCs and listed stocks here today as a sniper. Hope you guys are able to profit off of one of those stocks in the upcoming week. If not, I'll see you guys back here next week for another weekly watchers video. Stock Sniper Mike, out.